Can you do this? If not, then come on down to the Leonard Nimoy School of Hand Gestures. That's right, at Leonard Nimoy School of Hand Gestures, we'll teach you these and three others using our very own hand model in order to help you articulate each and every finger. That's right, it's the Leonard Nimoy School of Hand Signatures. Come on down and be one of our fine graduates. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but you think I'm nuts. Got it up to the second knuckle there, I think. But anyways, are we ready? Camera six in five, four. Here, with another in a series of special live reports, our very own notably newsworthy newsman, Jim Clancy. Hi, how you doing? I'm here reporting on a urgent situation that has arisen in Stanley Park, something that could affect all tourism this summer in the park. Apparently, the operating engineers of the fountain that you see uh, may be going on strike. Now, this has arisen from the fact of wage demands and... Uh, we don't splash your trash. ...meal allowances, things like this, but the union has informed our news department that... Which time the fountain will be shut down, and perhaps maybe all tourism for the entire summer. I knew it, yes. I knew that all the time. Yeah. Right. It's hot, man. Like you don't want to wear that. Every time they go out, I mean, it's always the same thing. <laughs> Nobody is in charge. You're a bum, you're a punk, you're an old slut. Sexual performance is not enhanced by steroids. However, it is enhanced by hamburgers. Well, I don't know. Seeing someone like uh, Jojo the runner, he never had any. But Alice the cook, supposedly, you know, had been. I, I think to see those runners see, in the Olympics, who, who we all find out now, are, sauce. are on steroids. I find them all very attractive, personally. And I've often called two or three of them up. Uh, Why did I have to get this job anyways? I could have been in a workshop all weekend. Anytime, anytime. Here it goes. Here comes the hat. <laughs> Tonight on Senior Kung Fu, disembowelment in three easy steps. Whales, giants of the deep, the largest warm-blooded mammals on the face of the planet, intelligent, majestic, without equal. Can't you just imagine this baby above the fireplace? You can? Then you're ready to run Gunwheel with the one and only Wild Bill's West Coast Surf Safari Tours. That's right, for three days and three nights, we'll take you a whaling wherever the big ones roam. Immortalize your name beside the likes of Ahab and Spear, Harpoon, Gillnet, or Depth Charge, any old endangered species. And even before you can scream, eat my wick, Greenpeace, you'll be chowing down on the biggest piece of meat Mother Nature has to offer. Three days and three nights of pure sporting adventure with Wild Bill and his hearty crew aboard the open sea's most spacious whaler, the blowhole surprise so if you're sick and tired of the same old trophy hunts and aren't afraid of breaking a few nappy bampy international laws then come a whaling with wild bill's west coast surf safari tours book your charter early by sending firstborn male child to free rides the department of vehicle health and safety standards requires 14 able-bodied seat belt testers must withstand 80 kilometer per hour impact tests. Please, no wimps. Duck stuff. Pete's Peep and Peeler's Bar requires an intermission master of ceremonies stand-up comic. Must have own mop. <laughs> I don't believe these guys. <laughs> After last week's mysterious sinking of Canada Place and the Pan Pacific Hotel, leaving only the white sails visible above the waterline, an intense bidding war has ensued between local salvagers. One of the top contenders is Sammy Day's sunny-side-up escort service, Salvagers Limited. A new company, they are expected to hire a crew of 200 experienced hyperventilists. Hey, listen, I'm going to be heading home. Uh, you want to ride Bill and Joe and Tom and Susan? No!
It's fast. It's the ultimate killing machine. Grateful Dad. All I can say about these guys is I'll be grateful when they're dead. Without advertisements, we wouldn't have commercialism. I mean, it's things like this that you you have, have to think that about. Nobody would be our watching our society has progressed forward through Maybe our commercials step and through these seven and a half second sound bites. That what we was that, see uh, now. Dr. Buffett? No, if we didn't have commercials, nobody would be watching this show. Isn't that profound enough? Slightly Is anybody profound, watching stupid. this show? I think we would always have a, a show going. No, I don't we know would really be inundated with Leave It to Beaver uh, reruns. You know, I have to disagree. I think that we so, could So what's wrong with Leave It to Beaver I reruns? I think it's Donde está specific enigmica? Take the bus or whatever then. Uh, Why is this trick called the trick of the traveling aces? A southern company that specializes in the manufacturing of non-toxic bingo markers is being investigated after their product proved to be both hallucinogenic and addictive. In Kansas, 300 elderly bingo patrons took over the bingo caller's booth and replaced calling with electric lunch at 100 watts a side. In California, they have taken to wearing tie-dye leisure suits and have decorated the bingo parlors with nude, psychedelic, black-like posters of Lawrence Welk. So, where are these so-called classic rock albums that transcend the airwaves 24 hours a day on radio? Here's one right here. Scottish Fiddling by John and Barbara McDonald. I mean, boring from the Celtic traditions, this album has served as a catalyst and inspiration for the likes of Van Morrison, the Pogues, and you too. I mean, the thundering rumble of Barbara's old-time piano and combined with John's delicate phrasings on violin bear repeated listenings time and time again. And their second album, Bagpipe Lullabies, is equally as good. Hi, I'm Mark from Mark's Natural Food World. Welcome to my establishment. I've got everything on fr half price. We're going out of sale. A bookstore didn't work. We got this through my product. Look at this flatbread. Come on down. Half price. We'll cut it in half for you. Just come on down. Two days. Come on down. Box Natural Food Store. So, that's our show for this week. Join us again next time when we review Zeppelin's Zoso, Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, and Billy Idol's Symphony No. 2 E-flat minor, Opus 29, for bass clarinet and percussion ensemble. Now, we're going to do that trick again, only we're going to do it in slow motion so you at home can get a really good view of how we did it. Join us next week when Clive and the Mad Cap Tappers continue their tribute to the Russian classics with a bear bomb interpretation of Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. We we'll all say the same thing, can't we? Geez, you, you think I dated your, your mother? mother. So you did date your mother. Why do you think you're around? He dated my mother, that's why I'm around. Is that why we're so similar? The preceding employment opportunities were brought to you courtesy of Bruno's on permanent vacation holiday hearse services, where a newly reconditioned fleet of safety inspected four-door air-conditioned, environmentally friendly, efficient propane guzzling smoke-free hearses promise to get you where you're going and drop you off. general area in 1888 is where the history of our fair city was changed forever. CNRC, heure avancée du Pacifique. 22 heures. And a real big surprise where Edmonton has won again. Well, they certainly one have. One more time. What is it, 98 straight wins now? <laughs> We're real surprised. Uh, yeah. And that's our notably newsworthy newscast for this evening. See you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Good night. See Patty, Diane, Janet, and Christy plan a surprise party for Bob, who comes home with his bombshell D cup dream girl, and you find Patty, Diane, Janet, and Christy playing patty cake, patty cake parlor games with his favorite pair of stud thrust underwear on the Emmy Award-winning Killer Vixens. Coming up next.